Today I'm excited to review yet another PC fan air purifier kit. I'm going to be reviewing this Northbox System 6XL. Now the founder of Northbox Systems, Robert Fantinato, reached out to me back in April when he saw a review for the new kit Tempest. And he wanted us to review his latest creation, the 6XL. Now Robert got into creating his own kits when his father went into long-term care during COVID and he wanted to look at ways that he could create mitigation devices as the facility that he was staying at wasn't really doing what it should. And him and his son originally started building DIY boxes for themselves but they had so much interest from people in the local area in Canada that he looked at ways to make it more economical and then he came up with these kits. And there's three kits that he offers. Some of them are in different materials. And today we're gonna to be reviewing the Northbox 6XL. If you don't wanna watch my full review of the Northbox 6XL, here are the five things I really like and the three things I don't. The first one is performance. It did really well in our performance test. It cleaned PM1 in 19 minutes with the P14 Max and 23 minutes with the Noctua fans. It also had a great performance to sound ratio when using the Noctua fans, not with the P14S Max, which we'll talk about later. I also like the recommended filter they suggest. This is the 3M Filter at 1900 MERV 13 filter, and we've managed to test lots of different filters, and these ones really stand out. So I'm glad that this device is designed around it. Another thing I like is the shape and size. It's less long than the Luggable XL, and it's easier to find a place in the home. It's still really lightweight, and whilst it doesn't have handles, it's easy to pick up and move around the home. And the finally, I think it has a really great price for those living in Canada. When I worked out the uh, amounts, it was much cheaper for those in Canada than say getting a device from Clean Air Kits. Now, what I don't like. So the first one is it doesn't come with any sort of mesh guard. Un un unlike with Clean Air Kits, you can't buy one. So you will be stuck with just this design uh, and this look and feel and no sort of uh, protection against people putting their fingers in your filter. The other one is that it was a little trickier to build than the clean air kits. And I'm just giving my feedback and that was probably down to the fact that I tried to build it on this table, which I wouldn't recommend. Uh, but there were a few slight adjustments with the clean air kits that make it easier, but it was still fairly easy. And when I re-put the new fans in, it, it was a lot easier once you've done it once before. Now, finally, the only other thing that to be aware of is there is no online store. So if you want this device, you will need to email the team at Northbox Systems. And it's just something to be aware of. Um, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it, you know, it would be nice to see a store in future. Right, let's jump into my full review. As with all the air purifiers we review here at Housefresh, we bought the Northbox 6XL with our own money. After speaking with Robert, he mentioned that the bear kit would be the cheapest way to send it out to us in the UK. Now we paid for the 6XL original bear kit version, so no fans and no filters, 220 Canadian dollars and an additional $35 for shipping. So for the bear kit in total, it was around 255 Canadian dollars or 188 US dollars. As it was the bear kit, we also needed to buy the filters and we were able to buy them in the UK from Amazon.uk. I was super happy because normally you have to get them shipped over from the US and they weren't too bad price wise, just over 66 pounds. And we also needed to get the fans. Now I decided in my wisdom or lack of wisdom to get the Arctic P14 Max and these cost us 62 pounds for six fans. All in all, I paid 272 pounds and 17 pence. That included the shipping, the filters and the fans and that was everything involved. If you're in Canada, then they also offer some options, the deluxe kit option, which also includes all the fans that you need. You still need to buy the filters for 288 Canadian dollars and also a version where they provide the filters and the fans, and that comes to 330 Canadian dollars, which is around 244 US dollars when I put this video together. You will see in our test data that my choice to choose the Arctic P14 Max was a little bit of a mistake, and it might suggest to people that the Northbox system device is much louder than it actually is. So I thought it was only fair to the guys at Northbox Systems that I test some other fans as well. So I bought uh, some Noctua P14 Redux fans 
they were a little pricey at 82 pounds and I'm not suggesting you have to go down that path but I really wanted to try some different fans we've seen the normal P14s we've seen the sickle flow 120s with other kits and I just wanted to try these not to a fans as many commenters on here on YouTube said they're really good fans and I should try them if you've seen my reviews before, you'll know that I like to go to the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers to see if a KDAR report exists. Now, there isn't a KDAR report on AHAM for this device, which makes sense. It's quite expensive to send it for, for testing, but there is an estimate of KDAR of 290 CFM, which would mean that you could get five air changes in spaces up to 435 square feet. Now, with this device, as I've chosen to use two sets of fans, so with the P14S Max, I'm assuming that this will get a slightly higher KDAR than the 290 CFM and with the Noctua I expect that's going to be in the same range uh, as what we would see with the KDAR that they're given. So looking at the design you can see the inspiration with clean air kits and I think that's down to the fact that it uses the same filter this 3M Filtrip brand of filters and they have a interesting look. I personally quite like it I know some people don't. Now the thing that I mentioned that was one of the downsides of this device especially over something from clean air kits was the fact there is no mesh guard. Now with clean air kits you do have to pay extra for the mesh guard but with Northbox systems at least uh, what I could see there didn't even seem to be the optional extra so if you don't like this look, you kind of might be a little stuck. Now, Northbox Systems does offer this device, the 6XL, in other materials. So they have a version that is in a, in a shiny plastic, and this is the original, which has that kind of more wooden feel. Personally, for me, I, I like wood. I like the look of the wood, but there may be some durability benefits of choosing the plastic. So, you know, it's good to see those options because I know in different situations, people will prefer that. For this device, Northbox Systems recommends that you get the Arctic P14. And one of the big downsides of choosing the P14 Max was that when I used the DC barrel 12 volt to USB to connect it up with a battery, the battery just couldn't provide enough power for those fans. The good news is that when I swapped out the fans for the Noctua P14s, the battery did work. Let's jump into the exciting part. How well did the Northbox 6XL do in our performance test? Now for this device, using the P14 Max fans, it managed to clean our test room of all PM1 pollutants in 19 minutes, which is really, really good. However, it does come with some downsides, which we'll talk about in our next test. When we tested it with our Noctua P14 Redux fans, it took a little longer at 23 minutes, but there were some benefits, which we'll talk about later. We can also compare this performance with the other devices we've tested. We can see that this device is similar to the other PC fan kits in that you are going to pay a bit more for a similar level of performance with HEPA retail. But things are going to get interesting when we look at the sound test. Whilst air cleaning performance is the primary metric to look at when choosing an air purifier, if a device sounds like a jet trying to take off, you're not going to want to use it in the home, which is why we use a sound meter at three feet away to track the levels of sound at each fan speed. Now for the Northbox 6XL, we just used at its full speed. There was no options to change that sound levels. And with the P14 Max, it hit a max of 50.2 decibels. Whilst with the Noctua fans, it hit 45.1 decibels. And we can compare this to the other devices we've tested. As you can see with the data above, Clearly, the Noctua provides significant benefits when it comes to sound without a massive reduction in performance. The P14 Max do increase performance, but they come close to the HEPA retail devices running at full speed. Looking at the Luggable XL, that's one of the quietest with the Sickle Flow 120s. So it really comes down to personal choice of how much sound you can handle and how much you want to give up in exchange for extra performance. One thing we've started to do is compare performance of these PC fan kit devices with HEPA retail devices running at lower fan speeds. And whilst it's true that you can get devices like the Smart Blast Mini or the Lavoie Everest Air, for most HEPA retail devices, these PC fan kits really blow them out of the water. The next, thing to <clears throat> the next thing to look at is the amount of energy that's used, which is why we use an energy meter to see how much energy is used at each fan speed. Now with the Northbox 6XL, it only has one fan speed, but we were able to test it with both the P14 Max and the Noctua. So running this device 24-7, 365 days a year, paying average US energy prices, the P14 Max will add an additional $29.91 to your energy bill. 
If you swap it out for the Noctua P14 Redux fans, this drops to $16.91. So there is a big energy saving to be made just by choosing different fans. As you can see in the table above, these PC fan kits, as long as you don't get the P14 Max fans like I did, cost you a lot less in energy costs. Looking at both the energy and sound levels, to me, it's a much better choice to go with the Noctua fans rather than the Arctic P14 Max. Whilst you do get the slight bump in performance, the additional energy and sound generated just doesn't seem a fair comparison. Let's look at the filters for this device. Like other PC fan kit air purifiers we've seen, this device doesn't use HEPA grade filters. Now this is actually a good thing, and I don't wanna go into all the details, but there's other videos on YouTube that do, but the main thing that you need to know is that you need to get at least a minimum of MERV 13. Now, Northbox Systems recommends the 3M filter at 1900, and I have to say, I'm a big fan of these filters, so if you can get them, use them, but you are free to use any HVAC filter brand that you can get a hold of, which does make it a lot easier in the future if say you can't get the 3M filters or you can't get a specific brand from your location. I was glad to report that the 3M filters were available on amazon.co.uk. So if you're an international customer like myself, these 3M filters do seem to be more easily available than other US brands. Now for this device, we'd probably recommend replacing it every 12 months, but will be depend on the air quality in your area. And we saw that you can get the 3M filter devices for just over $45. And we can add this to the energy cost to get some estimated annual costs of running in the Northbox 6XL. With the P14 Max fans, it will be $75.85 to run that device for a year. With the Noctua fans, the P14 Redux, that will bring it down to $60.35. And it's clear to me choosing the Noctua fans brings running costs in line with the other PC fan kit devices we've tested, like the new kit Tempest or the Logable XL. So what do I think about the 6XL from Northbox Systems? Well, I have to say I'm a massive fan and I'm a big fan of PC fan kits in general because it can do the one thing that HEPA retail finds really hard and that is high performance without excessive noise. Now with the right fans, the Northbox 6XL has some great data. It managed to clean our test room in 23 minutes of all PM1 and it only made 45.2 decibels and it had really low energy costs and could be used with a battery. Please don't make the mistake I did and choose the P14 Max fans because it just makes it much louder at 50.2 decibels. And yes, you get more performance, but I just don't think it makes up for that with the excessive noise and the fact that you can't use a battery and it will cost you more to run. For those people in Canada, Northbox systems have the best prices for these type of devices. But for those internationally like myself, they had really fair shipping costs. So it might also be an option for other people who can get hold of the 3M filters who want to have their own kits and don't want to have to build their own system. Right. Let me know what you thought about my review of the Northbox 6XL and if you have any other questions and I can answer them in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.